what have you been doing since uh, TEDx Gateway 2011? So, Ralph, there are 300 million people in India who need glasses, but don't have them. Uh, so my group at MIT Media Lab invented a very new solution called Ionetra, which is a phone that snapped into a binocular. You look through it, click on a few buttons, hit calculate, and it gives you a prescription for your eyeglasses. Oh. <laughs> your nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. <clears throat> and Yashraj invited me to present this technology huh. in 2011 right here on this stage. And I made an appeal uh, right here saying, please, if somebody can join us in disseminating this right. out here. And we had a very small booth just we have out there. And then, long story short, I found somebody who's as passionate as me, and that's Pradeep Nakate. Is Pradeep, are you here? And Pradeep is actually taking the solution further hmm. out here. And now we are doing what? Thousands and thousands of people right here in Mumbai are getting glasses because of Ainetra. Wow. So please go in the booth upstairs and get your free eye tests out there. So it's great to be back. Now, of course, you're an associate professor of media arts and sciences at the MIT Media Lab in Boston. Right. Um, but uh, I mean, this is cool. But what are you going to be doing next? That's, that's not all there is. Oh. So after Ainetra, I was very inspired. And I and my team had dozens of ideas of how we can take it forward uh, in, for eye, for health, for many other social issues. And we thought if you just try to do one project at a time as a master's thesis or PhD thesis, it'll take 20 years to get some of those ideas out. And so we said, why don't we just work with innovators, like many of you here, and disseminate them at a much faster pace. Right. So John Werner from our group earlier presented this notion of a Red X camps. And so we have been doing that. And more specifically, right now, I'm very excited about what we can do for Kumbh Mela. Kumbh Mela. Kumbh Mela. And the next Kumbh Mela is in 2015, right? Yes, in less than a year right. in Nasik, and 30 million people show up oh. in one month. Wow. And how do we deal with it? We don't deal with it. We don't deal it's, with that. It's so a big true. challenge. But I want to show you a video of what we are doing about it. Right. So let's, let's play the video. Let's roll the video. <clears throat> It's beautiful, only 160 kilometers from here, and I hope you will all join us. But we're going to reimagine Kumbh because we, are, we have a team of innovators coming together and looking at health, sanitation, transportation, transaction, and language issues that pop up when so many people are coming together. So we're using different kinds of innovations that can go with mobile technologies and uh, telecom uh, and various electronics technologies, mechanical, computational, machine learning to solve many of the logistic issues. We are building not only apps, but we are working with the city of how we can take problems that have traditionally been solved with really complex solution can be solved with really new age technologies. So we are bringing, Ralph, many people uh, from MIT and Harvard uh, who are very passionate about solving the problems and realizing that the local stakeholders in Nasik, like the mayor's office, the police, the, 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 uh, the hotels, the taxi union, and so on. So I want all of you to think about how we can work together to solve the problems of Kum. So the next camp, we do camps every three months, and the next camp will take place January 24th to 31st, about three months from now, and we want many of you to apply. We can select only about 100 innovators to come and work with us because the city is really open for business. I think it's the only city right now in the country which is giving us unprecedented access to a lot of what, how the city works. So please apply. Just go to kumbha.org, K-U-M-B-H-A.org, and apply right now, and we want you to be part of this revolution. And there are many other ways also you can participate in how we can solve problem for the Kumbh. This is interesting. This is really like uh, starting a whole revolution within a kind of a national uh, event, when you say 30 plus million people. So on that, what can people here do if they want to start their own social media revolution of sorts? Yes, so this is a different kind of revolution. It's not just social media, just to be clear. 
because we are not studying the problem or talking about the problem or educating, which we should, but we're actually intervening. So for example, one of the big challenges is crowds. Uh, and so we have a new uh, solution that we have created, a, a good back end and front end that uses cell phone tower data that allows us to map the flow of individual because you know the tower knows where you are. And using a dashboard allows the authorities to see where the crowds are. But we also give you SMS alert depending on your geographical location so you know which areas to avoid. Or we're looking at the problems of transactions. You know, 30 million people go, but they're very concerned about carrying anything electronic once they reach very core of the area, you know, like the, near, the, near the ghats. And so the merchants there actually don't get any business. So we have created a cashless transaction system where you don't even need a mobile phone. We give you a wristband with a barcode that's prepaid, and a shopkeeper can deduct from the prepaid amount so that it <laughs> enables that. Then other individuals are looking at epidemics. And epidemics, as you saw earlier, these are based on logs. More than 400,000 people are treated during Kumamela. And of course, we're digitizing it, but we're also creating a mechanism where an SMS goes, up or goes back to an individual who was treated, and all they have to vote through SMS is are they feeling worse or better after one or two days of treatment. And that allows us to, again, map epidemics. You know, we're looking at problems like lost, and separate, lost children and separated families. You won't believe, Ralph, 3% of children, which is about 2 lakh children in the previous cum, were lost. And it took sometimes a week to a month to reunite, reunite them with their oh. families. Can you just imagine the agony for the families? Wow. And you know, there have been Bollywood movies, literally, about uh, you know, brothers getting brothers getting separated. So we want to kind of get rid of those you know, blockbuster plots. And, um, <clears throat> and you know, we are solving problems that are, that are not addressed by the government. So we are not trying to change policies or build a lot of infrastructure or deploy manpower. We want to use innovation to get in. So to solve the problem of separated families, actually we are using an army that's already deployed and that's shopkeepers. Uh -huh. And so we have created a solution that works with shopkeepers to solve some of the social problems as well. Wow. So it's kind of unique. So what I want all of you here, I mean, we are here at TEDx Gateway, which is an unbelievable platform. I have been blessed with what can be done here. I want all of you to find your Pradeep to collaborate in very unique ways. Go to kumbha.org, and we also have a recipe. If you're thinking about your own cause and you're very passionate about it, and you heard many causes here on the stage, we have a whole formula of how you can use online tools and offline tools to start your own revolution. So TEDx Bidu, this is it. What are we going to do to help this man and make Kumbha Mela even more interesting and not having just 30 million, but a billion people involved that are not there, but helping it go and work really well. Fantastic work, incredible work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank, thank you. you.